18 points in a uh, four-point win over Tulane. Is this the best game you've played at SMU? I think it was. I really had to get Tulane back because when I was there, didn't play that great. You know, got a lot from the coaches in my ear. So I, I've been wanting to pay them back since my freshman year. So I was glad we were able to come out after a loss uh, at Houston and come out with a win. What didn't go so well for you specifically in New Orleans that was that was better today? Taking care of the ball, really. They were, um, their defense is just a very aggressive uh, defense, so I just had to, you know, put the big, big girl draws on and be like, I got to take care of the ball. I'm the point guard. That's what they want me to do, and I got to score. So that's what I had to do. There have been a couple of games now where coming out of timeouts late in the game, you're the one who's been making drives, going to the hole, and getting key baskets. Are these plays being called for you in, in the huddle, or is Rhonda calling a certain play and you have a bunch of different options? To a certain extent, she's like, Alicia, be aware that this may be open, but a lot of times I just have to read what the defense gives me and be aggressive and take it to the hole. Don't play for the foul. Go for that A and one. Delisha Wills looked like two different players today, oh, first half, yes. second half. Yes. What was the difference? She was just aggressive. She didn't think about anything. She just went out there and played ball like she knows how to, like she's been doing for us the past years before I even got here. And just, it's exciting to see her play like that because no one can't stop her. A um, couple days ago in Houston, the game got away from you in the last, the last few seconds. Heartbreaker. How much does winning a close game like this that goes right down to the wire help either you individually or you as a team? Oh, it helps tremendously because a lot the coach has been, been saying is we have to play 40 minutes, and Houston's game really showed it because we played like 39 and a half minutes, but it wasn't enough. So we really we were really determined to come out here, play 40 minutes, and just get this win because, once again, they're a great team. They're second conference. Just, they just happened to be there when we needed a win. Were you worried after the Houston game of your team having a little hangover from that and letting that carry over? No, I could see it in their eyes that they were really upset and just really determined to come out there and get a win. I could, you could tell how we practiced, and even though the snow didn't allow us to practice, but you could tell we were ready to come out here and win. I was going to say, how has the weather affected your practice schedule and your game day routine that you guys go through? Well, it gave us, it actually gave us a break. It gave us a time to, you know, just breathe and just not have to worry about basketball for a day and just take it all in. So. But then, you know, driving in the ice was an interesting thing, but we still came in and practiced yesterday. Did you need a break from each other after the Houston oh, game? You know, we always do sometimes. What did, uh, what did Mallory Singleton give you guys today coming in off oh, the bench? She definitely was a spark off the bench. She was aggressive. She was fearless out there. I mean, she got a couple fouls, but hey, she was like, I'm playing good defense and that's all that matters. And she, she gave us a key drive at the end and we were really proud of her because this is a situation she hasn't been in, but she definitely showed coach that she should be in that situation.